Hi folks, welcome here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. And uh, today, uh, by the way, this video is actually sponsored uh, by Kira on our Discord. It's you know, it's not a company or whatever. It's just some like viewer, I guess. Apparently, it's a thing on YouTube that viewers sponsor like videos. But anyways, um, you know, we're we're gonna talk about a, a pretty interesting topic, right? Um, so uh, obviously, in 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 Palville, the most important units are your tanks and supports, more so than your strikers. Strikers. Honestly, they're whatever, right? Um, strikers do not matter nearly as much as your tanks and supports in Battleville. And um, one of the better, um, f I, I guess, like free to play, like tank support combos is actually, you know, Mew and, and Misty, which is the one that uh, you know uh, Kira did ask me to to look at today. Which I've, you know, we've we've used. Um, Mew and Misty before in the battle, and if, if you've seen that, it's you know how good they are, right? Um, because a few reasons. Because if, if you do check out Mew's, um, uh, Mew's Syncrid, and by the way, I do have uh, my build up on the screen if you want to check that out, but uh, Mew's Syncrid, uh, you do have uh, both uh, Shifty Striker, which occasionally raises your evasiveness uh, when the user is, uh, Pokemon uses a move. And also, you got uh, Agile Entry, so Mew already start. if you do pick up Agile Entry, you already pick, uh, you know, you already pick up plus two evasiveness um, going into uh, the battle from the beginning, and then you also have, you know, chances of raising your evasiveness with Shift Story, and you also honestly have a chance of raising your evasiveness with um, World of Dreams as well. Um, you know, you have a chance to get plus three there, uh, but, you know, all of these are a chance. Um, but with Misty, you actually get guaranteed um, evasiveness uh, buffs with Misty. All right, so maybe you you don't have to use World of Dreams. Obviously, Mew is one of the best um, free-to-play tanks in the game. Um, it has incredible bulk, right? And yeah, again, it also has evasiveness as first aid um, when you know when you're down in a pinch, you recover like what 40% or something HP and 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 all that. So Mew Mew is a fantastic tank, and then. Um, the reason why Misty makes Mew so good is uh, you get catch up if you can, which sharply raises evasiveness. So again, you you're going in with plus two evasiveness, then you get another plus two. You're at plus four evasiveness, and then with uh, Shifty Striker, uh, or if you want to use another catch up, uh, catch us if you can. Although most of the time you won't be expending that much resources. Um, but yeah, with Shifty Striker, you could also potentially uh, get that last plus two evasiveness, or if you could get it in World of Dreams. And you also actually have X special uh, defense all as, as well, which sharply raises uh, the special defense of all allied sync pairs. Um, so that's also great, especially versus stages that are special uh, attack uh, attacking strikers, um, right? Or, or units that actually strikers, because you know supports also attack on the enemy side um, and, and and all that. So, uh, but most importantly, you have the second ability in catches if you can, which. Macy and I like gradually uh, heal themselves. There's so there's qu actually quite a few units that actually have this uh, quality, right? Um, that have allies gradually heal themselves. Uh, you got Charon, right? Uh, you got Charon and um, Glacia. Those are the two big ones. Let me um, see if I. Oh, Charon's not here. This is Syncrid. Um, let's go check out uh, because uh, Charon is makes all allies gradually heal themselves. So it's like slightly better in that sense for healing. Um, and also gives, you know, plus two move gauges, which is good for you know, high move gauge consumption teams. Um, but, uh, overall, um, you don't get the evasiveness, which is much better for your tank. And, and, you know, some people do sometimes question, oh, is Misty, like, that good? Because, like, for, you know, with Charon and, and with, um, Glacia, right, you're healing your whole team, your whole team is regening. Um, and then with Misty, you're only, it's only one unit that's regening, but I don't think that's an issue at all. Well, I wouldn't say at all, but, you know, sync moves and AOE moves exist, but uh, for the most part, it's not that much of an issue because, like, most of the time, your tank is going to draw aggro anyway, so your tank's going to get hit, like, 80% of the time. Um, so, yeah, if you just throw it on your tank, which in this case is Mew, um, it, it, you don't really have to worry about all of your other units uh, anyways, and again, um, gives nice evasiveness, gives uh, healing properties, and give uh, special defense as well. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's uh, let's go try it out in a um, battle. I guess what would hit 
I guess I guess the blue stage hits probably the hardest right at the moment. So let's go in here. Um, so this team we're gonna go with uh, Starmie, Mew, and then just a Striker. The Striker doesn't matter. So we're actually not gonna deal damage here. We're just gonna you know let them hit us. Um, we're not trying to we're not trying to beat the stage. Uh, we're just trying to sh you know showcase I guess their their tanking abilities in terms of uh, Mew and Starmie, right? Um, I guess this is also a really great stage because the a lot of their attacks are 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 uh, special um, special attacks, right? So in World of Dreams, let's see what we get from that. X special defense all. All right, World of Dreams, we're getting accuracy, which is nice, I guess. Oh, we got MP refresh on that. X special defense all. There we go. Let's get another one in. And so basically, we got our evasiveness. Our evasiveness is plus four. Like from the like basically the start, um, over there, right? And oh, we just got another extra two evasiveness. So we're at max evasiveness right now with Mew, and we heal on our uh, uh, attacks. And also Swift, Swift has unfortuitous. So every time you hit the opponents, one of their stats randomly goes down. One of their random stats, and there there we go, start healing. Um, so if you want, like just to like maximize like the the like the RNG component of that like you just <laughs> hope for like getting like oh there we go accuracy down so like you never get hit and if you do get hit oh there we go there's a miss you don't take much damage anyways just because again Mew is just so incredibly tanky and we're healing at the same look we're still at max HP at this moment all right here comes the sync move this should do a decent amount of damage um or not because we're Mew and we're super tanky we got X special defense all um to help us out there as well so here comes the sync move um, again, we're not trying to beat the stage. We're not trying to do that. Well, we might actually be end up beating the stage by accident. Um, all right, there we go. Oops. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Ah, I shouldn't have move there. <laughs> I'd rather just like completely change. Oh well, you know. Well, maybe we will beat this. And then we can just go ahead and, and thunder. Actually, would thunder do more, or would, or would fire blast do more with sunny day coming up? Oh, unfortunately, we didn't use speed. Um, X speed there. Yeah, oh, we'll have to use like how speed boost here. Give us some more speed. Ouch. Um, oh, there we go. There's another miss. Uh, thankfully, uh, thank thankfully we did get accuracy up there. All right, first aid coming in handy. <laughs> Rare chance of that happening with with Hawu. Not that you know first aid is bad or whatever. It's just you know, usually when you're using Hawu, you don't do like stages that are like this hard. Um, that actually require you to heal at all. All right, okay, we're doing good damage, I guess. <laughs> Which again, it's not the point of this uh, video. Unfortunately, is still activating. Um, unfortunately, we avoided that, or, or they avoided that. We. <laughs> um, there is one drawback from, uh, from from catch of uh, catch us if you can, uh, which is that it actually goes out. It's not like an unlimited thing, right? See, uh, now it's gone, and no, Missy's going down as well. Um, that's basically it for the healing. So it's not like an unlimited thing. It's like Rosa and Delbert's, um, you know, a uh, uh, move gauge. Like all, all the presents, uh, move gauge, uh, regen increase, right? Um, it's not up there the whole time. It's for a number of turns. It generally lasts enough for you to beat some stage, uh, right? Again, we're not trying to beat the stage, which is why, you know, it's, that's not happening right now. But um, most of the time, it should be enough to last you. And again, you know, we have two anyways. So yeah. Uh, Missy and Starmie, uh, w once they do get a Syncrid um, expansion, that'll be really, really awesome because, like, Missy and Starmie does not need much to make them, like, really, really good. All they need is just some stuff that every other Syncrid has, right? And so, you know, it's not, we don't have to, like, predict, oh, well, if Starmie gets, like, this new thing that decreases your Sync move count by 5 and raises everyone's special attack by, like, 1200 or something. No, we don't really need that. Like, we just need, like, the basics. Is just MP refresh on X Special Defense All and MP refresh on Catch Us If You Can. And, you know, we're, we might get, like, you know, some extra effects when you use Catch Us If You Can or something. Like, maybe it raises the crit or whatever. Which, again, is that's not important. We don't need any of that. All we need on Misty is just the MP refreshes on, on Catch Us If You Can and, um, and X Special Defense so we could get a chance to use it more um, in, in the villa, right? If we do get MP refreshes on those. So, yeah. Um, Misty Starmie plus two, very strong. <laughs> very strong um, for the tank. Um, the only duo they're mostly competing against is 
uh, for you know free to play units, right? Is 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 mostly either um, Charon plus Mew or 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 Pikachu plus Mew, right? And and yeah, Charon. We'll not we're not going to talk about Charon much, but you know Pikachu plus Mew is, is the big one. And there are upsides to using Pikachu plus Mew over um, Mew plus Starmie. Um, for one, Pikachu's potion does heal more um, uh, for the most part. Uh, but if you have like you know regen up um, X or not not regen, uh, if you have like Misty and Starmie's regen instead of uh, the the potion masters from Pikachu, you do run the upside of like it really doesn't ever go that low that you have to trigger first aid. And for uh, you know potion Pikachu, sometimes you have to wait for you know, which again it's not the worst thing in the world, right? And um, I'll. Also, again, you know, Pikachu obviously does not give evasiveness, but Pikachu does have some out, uh, other upsides over Mew, which which I do think is um, pretty important that we can't really uh, ignore, right? Pikachu does have a one gauge spam, um, which Starmie unfortunately doesn't. I think uh, Starmie has like a Hydro Pump, which is like three gauge, and then like Bubble or Bubble Beam, which is like two gauge, right? Yeah. So I got a two gauge and a three gauge without any move gauge regen. Uh, Pikachu does have Thunder Shock, which is a one bar with move gauge regen, which you could also pick up hostile environment, so you could also uh, potentially, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pr uh, paralyze the opponent with a decent chance to paralyze, right? And um, Starmie does tank better for the most part, so there's that. Um, Bubble Beam also lowers speed, right? Yeah, very small chance of lowering opponent <laughs> speed, but well, obviously you would want to go with paralyze more. That's obviously much better um unless like you're also like running some other like a uh, unit that relies on status like some other status to to like boost their damage as your dps like torkoal or something um uh, but you know for the most part that in that department pikachu is definitely better um but again what pikachu doesn't have has is the x uh, special defense all and uh, and the extra evasiveness on army which on the other hand, is not maybe not that big of a deal because Mew could also potentially have a chance <laughs> in increasing that. But again, you're saving MP, right? Which I get MP is very very important in, in Bal Villa for the most part. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, there you go. Again, um, this video is again um, sponsored thanks to uh, Kira on, on on Discord. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, also, we will be uh, streaming Silver Trench, <laughs> the 99th floor dungeon in in. Mystery Dungeon DX uh, later today, so tune in for that. That should be fun. Anyways, uh, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to your channel for some more Pokemon content. I'll see you guys in the next one.